those eyes when you you're dealing with this thing on one side and then the is the music what was keeping you focused yeah yeah that's all i had yeah you know what i mean so i i put everything i had into into the dog mm. you know that's new. yeah the dog was a was a charismatic young uh, not good looking young man. Yeah. With, but wait, with, when did he come in the picture? Because I, you was with NWA and then y'all, you, Dre, and Suge, y'all split from that? Yeah. Okay. And and Snoop was the next day. You know what I mean? Really? So we started building this label. And How was he the next day? Who brought him in? Warren G. Oh, okay. Dre's brother. Okay. So they'd already, they'd always been around. Oh, Snoop been coming around. Well, I don't know if he was coming around, but he's but been he around. But already was there. Yeah, because oh. Warren G was always around. Yeah. Bringing tapes and shit. Oh. Listen to my dude. Yeah, yeah. And, and it y'all just, probably threw him away. Right. Endless Snoop I don't know. tapes, unreleased shit, and right. garbage somewhere. Right. I don't know if Drake threw him away <laughs> or just never. I listen to him later. He threw him away. But one, but one particular <laughs> evening at a, at a party or something, they put on something that Warren G did yeah. that was Snoop. And it, and it rocked the party. Okay. You know? And Dre was like, who the fuck is that? Yeah. And uh, one was like, that's Snoop. Dre was like, that's Snoop. Yeah. So we brought him around, uh, took him to the Death Row Studios, and... Uh, Wait, but when was Death Row formed within them? Because you, Dre, and, and Suge split from N.W.A., and then when do y'all actually, like, form Death Row officially? Well, we started working with this guy named Dick Griffey. Okay. And, and we uh we put together a thing called Future Shock. Yeah. That was Dre's idea. He liked that name. He wanted that label. Yeah. And so we started with that. Yeah. Yo, and, is that the shit in the movies where he had on the shiny coat or no? No, that's World Class Wrecking Crew. Oh, alright. All right. Yeah. And so uh we worked under that name for about two or three months. Mm-hmm. And uh. There was a guy that that came in named Harry O. Yeah, yeah. And somewhere around that time, um, things started to to change around, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and after that, I wasn't really, you know, I I wasn't as in touch as I should have been with what was going on oh, in a business yeah. sense. Yeah. I just kept my mind focused on getting Snoopy to the point he needed to be. Yeah. And, About and, music. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, man. So it could be great shit, but yeah. uh, uh, but it was a great time. You know, Snoop was a great friend and artist, yeah. and he soaked all of that shit up. And you could tell because he turned into one of the greats. Yeah, of course. I mean, I, everything around y'all is, is like literally Mount Rushmore hip hop. You know what I mean? Like that. I always am like, floored by that because. Sometimes you know you could do something and you don't realize what you're doing in real time and then 20, 30 years from now, like half of this, I'm born in 1990. Right? I get it. So you're talking about, I'm talking to you about stuff that, that you was, I you had was just to like, born. Yeah, like yeah. I wasn't even there. I'm like, yo, what, the, what did yeah, they you do? Were just getting what born. clubs did they go to? How much money did they make? What album was it? You know what I mean? Like, that's like, what's your take on some of that sometimes? Like, do you ever look at it from that perspective or no? Man, it was so much money. Mm. It was enough money for everybody. Yeah. But, you know, that uh, human nature. At this nature. time, it's you. I mean, as far as founders of Death Row, it's you, Dre, Shug, and... And Griffey. Oh, Dick Griffey. Dick Griffey and, and then Harry O. Okay. And then after Harry O, it was Jimmy Iovine. Okay. And after Iveen, it was it was out of there, oh. you know. Uh, and it was just great music, man. Yeah. You know, and Dre was the key. Yeah. Always has been the key, which is why Easy it, it was such a mistake for him not to do the right thing, yeah. man. He's like, wow, how could you do that? Well, the first mistake was to let Cube go. How could you do that? Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> and then you let Dre go. That's like, man, what the hell? Yeah. Are you thinking, but he was he was already rich. Yeah. And maybe he thought, you know, all I need, I got what I need, me. Yeah. You know, and I can continue my thing. Yeah. Um, but. So at this time, like when when y'all are working on, uh, what's the first project 
y'all worked on with with Death Row? Because y'all formed Death Row, and then like what like what was your your mindset? Because it's just what you 22 now. Yeah, 21, 22. Oh, my baby. Yeah, <laughs> it's just uh, my job is just to help help the the songs get built. I'm a songwriter, right? Yeah, that's yeah. that's what I take stock in, mm. and so uh, my job is to help these guys make great songs. Yeah. Like if you look at the Chronic, yeah, a lot a lot of that work is mine. Mm. You know, you could if you were there, you would know. But it's just me and Snoopy yeah. for the most part, passing passing yeah, shit back and, back forth. and forth, right? Yeah, you know, and then you have Rage and and RBX yeah. and and uh, a corrupt Kingpin and Daz, yeah, and those guys rounded everything off. You yeah. know what I mean? But but yeah, and G Wells, right? You know, and that was the click right there. We was in, the, we was in that studio every day. Didn't nobody have no money. Yeah. At least I didn't have no money. And and <laughs> you ain't had no money. Nobody had no money. I ain't had no money. Nobody had money. And, and uh, I don't know. Shug might have had a lot of money. Yeah. And uh, Dre, <laughs> <laughs> Dre might have had some money. Yeah. You know, and uh, and we all uh, all the everybody else's. We had twos and fuse, yeah. but it was enough to keep us going because we knew the music was the shit. We knew yeah. that when this shit hit the yeah. street, it's gonna be, you know. Mm -hmm.